If anyone can think of any reason why these two should not be wed, speak now. He doesn't exactly have a job. Or a car. This was the first time uh, the New Zealand Muslim community has been portrayed in this kind of light. And the first time that our stories have been told through our own lenses. And it's something that's been particularly important over the last few years, especially since the uh, events of March 15 and, and 2019, the Christchurch uh, mosque shootings, that really fractured the community. And it was, it was a massive shock, not only to us, but the entire country. It's, it was the, the, the worst uh, um, terror attack in, in our modern history as, as a country. And in the aftermath of that, we saw a lot of people coming together and a lot, a lot of people recognizing that all of our stories, especially the ones that come from our migrant communities, need to be highlighted and celebrated. And uh, more than ever, you know, me myself as a member of the Muslim community and uh, a member of the Muslim diaspora really felt inspired to be able to tell the story and to talk about Okay, what was happening in the community in the years leading up to the Christchurch attacks? People aren't reacting well to Ahmad's interview. Mr. Sayed, do you love New Zealand? I mean, it's like, all right. Sayed's issue has always been that he cannot see what's right in front of him. Ah! How high are you? I'm good, how are you? But I would never. The terrorists. What, too soon? Um, things weren't as peaceful as people imagined them to be. There was actually a lot going on. Um, there were informants in our mosques. There were people being uh, taken aside and questioned and people feeling like they were under the microscope of, of government surveillance, not just in New Zealand, but in a lot of other Western countries as well. The relationship between Muslim communities, the experiences that they've had have really been parallel over the last two decades in particular. And we felt like that aspect of the Muslim experience hadn't really been explored on screen in a satisfying way. And we wanted to be able to do this, but to do it in a way that was palatable to an audience so that it wasn't super heavy. And the best vehicle for that was comedy.